So we have been finding lots and lots of jars at the thrift store that don't have any lids, they're vases, or were intended for that, and we're going to change that. Well, it's one of those why buy when you can DIY. We actually saw some at a shop locally. They were kind of pricey. When we went to market, they had lots of um, jars with lids. Those were also pricey. These cost us anywhere from a dollar to two dollars per jar, and then maybe like, I don't know, three dollars in wood. Um, so this is probably five dollars in wood right here, but the rest of it's all scrap. So Yeah, so it's a great way to use up scrap. We're going to show you how to make this wood look nice and old. Got these big five and a half inch pine blocks and then this is maple that I'm going to be gluing together and I'm going to turn these and see if we can make some cool tops for these vases and turn them into jars. Fair warning, I haven't cleaned the sawdust up in this little booth I made for my lathe in a long time. A long time. I don't really have a set design on this because it's not something I'm trying to copy. So from here, I basically just go and kind of the design just comes out as I work the wood a little bit. I'll zip this off and sand that flush. Here is that square block of maple that I glued up and just gonna start turning that till it's round, knock the edges off, happens pretty quick. So this was a scrap piece of alder. I used the alder to make a bunch of things for the website, but it was short. So I'm gonna add this knob topper on the top and I've just got a bolt that I cut the top off from and I'm running that down in where the center of the screw was. Could you just use one of those two-sided screws that we Yeah, used? you could totally use a dowel screw. You don't have to make your own bolt. I was like, I knew there was a word for it. I remember <laughs> what it was. <laughs> And you can use a dowel screw to, so let's say you don't have a lathe. One of the things you could do that we always find candlesticks and things, wooden items at the thrift store. And you could always cut those down in various sizes and then use the dowel screws to screw them together in various shapes. Just like we combine that right there. So you don't have to have a lathe to do this project. But it's handy. These are cool. Yeah, All right. They turned out pretty good. Let's make these look old. I like it. This is my favorite because it's green glass. Yeah, that one been. I, I actually like the little short top on it too. These two are my favorites. The ones that are out of the old pine are okay, but the wood was splitting a little bit. But we're gonna work with that and just play into it. So we're just using old and gray. You can see the difference between raw wood and old and gray wood. It's a all natural water-based stain and you get a really great barn wood effect from it. It doesn't hurt to use it inside because you don't have any VOCs and it dries in like 15 minutes. Traditional stain is going to be waiting like 24 hours so this is nice. Plus you get a really good aged effect with it. The nice thing about it is it still shows the wood grain through if you wipe it back a little bit or you can get like a nice solid gray coverage out of it if you put multiple coats on. You can even use it over the top of paint to be kind of like a glaze, like a gray glaze. Yeah. So there's a few different uses for it. It has a built-in sealer, so after we're done with this and we put the white wax, there's not going to be any need for additional sealers. It's good to go. So you can see here, I kind of just put it on thick, nice and splotchy, not really worried about it. And then, because we're planning on wiping it back, and this little knob topper is a little bit different color, so we're going to bring it all together with the white wax. Well, at least we hope so. Nah, it's going to work great. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. All right, so I'm actually using my stencil brush because it fits down in this sample size of wax better than the big wax brushes. And I'm just going to take that 
and give a good coat of white wax and then I'll pass it to Zeb and he will buff it off with no waiting time. You can wait, but the longer you wait, the harder it is to get that white wax. I feel like the white wax is really doing it. That's really adding the look. All right, so it's looking pretty much almost white now. Time to hit it with this rag and we'll get some fun variation in tone on this now. Oh, wrong, wrong <laughs> ones. It's like, which one goes on which? All right, so this is just a Fast Friday little why buy when you can DIY. I love the way that the old and gray and the white wax kind of react together to give an old finish. Even if you're not working on this exact project, but you've got some raw wood that you need to age, just use the old and gray, wipe it back, add the white wax, done. You've got an old aged patina in a matter of a few minutes. And remember, if you don't have a lathe, that doesn't mean you can't make cool things like this. Maybe we'll do a Waste Not Wednesday with like some old candlesticks or something like that and see if we can find more of these jars. Challenge accepted. Be sure to hit up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products that we use today. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.